What is going on everybody? Dan with Gear Focus here and we got something a little different for you today. It's been a while since we've done anything kind of vlog-like or anything like that, but we had a really great opportunity to come down to Baltimore and shoot some night photography with our new friend Brian Potts who's right here. He specializes in night photography, so he's going to show us how to get started, the kind of gear you need, and the tips and the tricks to get started with night photography. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and we'll get right into it. What's up, Brian? Hey guys, I'm Brian Potts, AKA HCD Studios, and we are out here talking night photography. So tonight we're out here taking night photos in the beautiful Baltimore, Maryland. We're on Charles Street, right here in front of the uh, Washington Monument. So a little bit about why I love night photography. Um, I shoot all different styles of photography, not just night photography, but I'm really passionate about this because I love capturing emotion. And the other thing I want to say is all of these things, this is the way that I do things. It's not necessarily right or wrong. These are the things that I've learned shooting all over the country and in different countries abroad. There's always that conversation that comes up. Does the gear matter or does it not matter? Um, and the answer is yes to both. Gear will not make you a better photographer. It will not make you more creative. It will not create a uh, vision in your mind. Um, but having the right gear and having good gear is absolutely crucial. So camera, battery, a memory card, a lens, and a tripod. Now, I know there's gonna be people out there saying, Brian, why did you say a battery and a memory card? We all know we need a battery and a memory card. Because make sure you have at least one extra charged battery with you and make sure you have space on your memory card. You do not wanna be out here at night in the dark fumbling around with your gear. Camera, really any camera will do. Um, so a DSLR or a mirrorless camera with manual settings. Um, as far as lenses go, my personal preference, about 95% of the time I'm using zoom lenses. Being able to, you know, to zoom in or out on a subject is really, really helpful if you can't get to stand exactly where you want to stand. And then composition, obviously, you know, um, you're using your, your focal length to frame up the composition in the way you want. The last piece of the puzzle is the tripod. Now, um, what I have here is a carbon fiber travel tripod that I got a few, a few years ago. You don't need a fancy tripod, but do not buy a cheap tripod. Always check your legs, make sure your legs are extended and locked, all, the, all that type of stuff. Make sure that your camera's not falling. So I'm shooting with, uh, shooting with an EOS R and I'm shooting with a 24 to 70 L lens. Um, now this is the F4 L lens. And why is that? Because this is one of my walk around travel lenses. And this lens also has macro. So it gives me all kinds of capability in a lightweight lens. And I don't need 2.8 for this thing. We're gonna talk about settings for night photography. There's two settings that you can pretty much go right off the bat. And that's ISO 100 and F9. Right there, 95% of what you wanna do, you can do it that way. Now, what does that leave you? That leaves you shutter speed. Shutter speed with night photography is gonna give you, um, obviously, a certain amount of light, but it's also gonna let you capture motion for a certain period of time. So, one of the fun things about night photography is being able to capture motion. Since we're on Charles Street, is we're gonna hope that a bus is gonna drive by. Um, but other than that, we're gonna shoot some cars as they drive by. I'm gonna try to time this so that I can hit the, uh, the shutter, so that the, the shutter's open when the car comes. So we got a we got a car coming right now. All right. Well, there we go. We got our first motion capture. Let's see what else we can get. Beginning of the video, I told everybody that there's a bonus tip, piece of gear that you should have. Um, what's that? A headlamp. Um, now, like I said, you don't want to be fumbling around in the dark with this stuff. So if you are shooting in a really dark environment, um, headlamps are worth their weight in gold. Keeps your hands free. And um, you get one of these Petzels, they have the nice little red light so you don't lose your night vision. So that's my pro tip number six, get a headlamp. So now we're in front of the Mount Vernon Place Methodist Church. Uh, very historic, beautiful piece of Baltimore architecture. And we have here the Sam Yang 14 millimeter 2.8, the new RF mount version lens from Sam Yang. Uh, I'm really excited to try this lens out. 
I have the old version of this lens, so I'm excited to see what it can do. So for this subject, it's gonna be a little bit different because it's not nearly as much light. So we're still gonna be at ISO 100, we're still gonna be at F9, but we're gonna change our shutter speed. So this is gonna be an example of something a little bit different. Normally with night photography, what I like to do is capture motion. This, we're gonna shoot a piece of architecture. So we're gonna step out of the, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna step out of the comfort zone a little bit. We're gonna try a 15 second exposure. Uh, let's see. Now that we got the basics, we know a little bit about long exposure night photography, camera settings, we know what gear we're using, all that kind of stuff. Now we're gonna walk around Baltimore a little bit and we're gonna get some shots and we'll see what we come up with. Hanging out, waiting for the bus. <laughs> Hopefully it comes this way down the street. <laughs> Right, so that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions about night photography or anything like that, you know what to do. Leave them down in those comments down below. Also, while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That kind of stuff really does help us out here on the channel. And as always, for all of your photo and video needs, make sure you check out gearfocus.com so we can continue to help feed your passion. See ya.